My name is uh, Reggie Barroza, and uh, I'm going to show a demo how to move an existing COBOL CICS application to the iPhone. So basically what I do have here, it's an uh, existing uh, 3270 uh, application that invokes an uh, COBOL, that this COBOL invokes an, another COBOL that goes to the vision and gets data back. So what I'm going to show you is how to move this application from these uh, green screens or black screens or black screen to the uh, iPhone using uh, Web 2.0. I'm going to use Rational Develop for Season Z. So the first step is to create the web service using the RDZ. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the existing uh, COBOL and create an COBOL uh, adapter using the wizard. So let's move to my uh, IDE, to RDZ. This is my uh, communication area, CICS con area, input customer number, and this is the output customer data. So basically I'm going to use this uh, web service wizard. I have to specify what's the input message, that's customer number, and this is the output message, the whole uh, con area, customer data. There's a lot of options that I could use here. Uh, what's very important is to specify where is this mainframe located. Um, I can have different um, interface. My example, I'm, I'm using the con area. I could use the channel. Uh, I could deploy on the mainframe. I have already deployed, so I'm not going to do that. And basically, that uh, the generation of the wisdom. So I can see uh, the wisdom created here. This is the input message, and this is the output message. Customer number, input message. The whole customer data is the output message. So the next step now would be test this uh, this uh, web service that I have already deployed. So I'm going to use a facility named Text uh, Explorer. And I can specify here a customer number. Let's take the customer number 2. Uh, customer number 2 is Mr. Obama. And let's take customer number 7 and customer number seven is uh, Daniel Barroza and I can see the input message and you can see also the output message envelope so web services is deployed and now I go to the next phase of my demonstration and uh, the next phase will be creating the interface that goes to the iPhone or iPod Touch. And I'm going to use the same tool, uh, but I'm going to use uh, RDZ with EGL now. The, to, to, the, to the number one could be RDZ with Java or RDZ with EGL. The advantage of RDZ with EGL is that I can use this uh, interface. So I'm going to now use the uh, RDZ to create the interface and let me go to the IDE I'm gonna use now the EGL rich UI perspective I have here my my wisdom that I just tested uh, the first step I have to do is um, using the EGL wizards create a, what you say client interface and this is my uh, services interface. I want to do all the bindings. Since I had done, I am have to do again and overwrite. And uh, I'm going to update all the bindings. And this is the EGL language. And you see here, I create an uh, interface. And this is my service. And uh, this is all EGL. And uh, you can see here the input message, and you can see here the output message. 
and this is my whole uh, cone area uh, now I can start doing the the GUI or the web 2.0 interface the way that I do that is using the drag and drop I can drag and drop the components uh, I, could, I could do all this visually or I could just type the code here and then I can do the preview uh, let's see the, the design here and let's open another window with the code, the source code, so we, we can have a better understanding how that works. So I have on the top my preview and in the bottom my uh, code, the same code. The, the way that you see here, like this button here, invoke CICS service. If I, if I change, uh, you see that it changes in here. And that's how it works. This is all about uh, EGL. Uh, the service that I'm invoking in here is defined. Uh, it says find the customer. When I click this button, I'm uh, using this function here. And this function will call this service. And this service will pass the input message that the customer number and you return the customer data. And that's how it, it goes, the return. Also, I'm going to create another button here that you're going to see that invokes another service. That's the Google Web Service. And this is how you, you invoke the Google. Uh, this is how you invoke the Google service and this Google service is it's it's already uh, done um, I don't have to do anything I'm just using an existing web service so let's do a uh, simple test on this guy I say preview I don't have to have application server at all let's type customer number two it must be uh, Obama if I say Google Map, I get the Google Map. Let's type number custom number seven. That means must be Daniel Barraza and Google Map. And again, the response time is really, really impressive. You see here, 0 0.1 mil, uh, seconds or 187 milliseconds. This is the, the web service response time. Uh, if you put something wrong, it's an invalid customer and so on. Anyway, uh, it's very simple to do this. Then you do the deploy. After you do the deploy, you have this application running and uh, much better than the green screen. And I hope that you have uh, un understand that. In fact, this is available and uh, you can uh, use that uh, anytime. It's available on the web. Thank you.